Good morning. Welcome to morning prayer on this Wednesday morning. I'm so glad you're able to join Tom and I in this Holy Week and uh, on this Wednesday with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry. Let us begin first with our litany. Joseph rolled a great stone to the entrance of the tomb. Joseph of Arimathea wrapped Jesus' body in clean linen shroud and laid it, his own in, in, laid it in his own new tomb, which he had cut in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the entrance of the tomb and went away. Christ is the Holy One through whom the world was made, and all things serve him, Christ the Son, on whom our sins were laid. A great stone sealed Jesus' tomb, but on Easter morning an angel rolled away the stone and announced, He has risen. Lord Jesus, through your death and resurrection, the weight of our sin and guilt was lifted. We have new life through you. Open to me the gates of righteousness that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. You are fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. Built on the foundation of the apostles and prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the cornerstone. As you come to him, a living stone rejected by men, but in the sight of God chosen and precious. You yourself, like living stones, are being built up as a spiritual house to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. The heavy weight of stone has sealed the place of death where Jesus lies, his flesh and bone, till Easter dawns first breath. Our reading is from First Peter, the second chapter, beginning with verse 4. As you come to him, a living stone rejected by men, but in the sight of God chosen and precious, you yourselves, like living stones, are being built up as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. For it stands in scriptures, Behold, I am laying in Zion a stone, a cornerstone, chosen and precious, and whoever believes in him will not be put to shame. So the honor is for you who believe, but for those who do not believe, the stone that the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. Let us now continue with our morning prayer. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is near to those who call on him. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> the Lord is near to those who call on him. O oh, come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 27. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom then shall I sh fear? The Lord is my strength and my life. And who, of whom then shall I be afraid? When evildoers came upon me to eat up my flesh, it was they, my foes, and my adversaries who stumbled and fell. Though an army should encamp against me, yet my heart shall not be afraid. And though war should rise up against me, yet will I put my trust in him. One thing have I asked of the Lord, one thing I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the fair beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble he shall keep me safe in his shelter. He shall hide me in the secrecy of his dwellings and set me high upon a rock. Even now he lifts up my head above my enemies around about me. 
Therefore I will offer in his dwelling an oblation with sounds of great gladness. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hearken to my voice, O Lord, when I call. Have mercy on me and answer me. You speak in my heart and say, Seek my face. Your face, Lord, will I seek. Hide not your face from me, nor turn away from your servant in displeasure. You have been my helper. Cast me not away. Do not forsake me, O God of my salvation. Though my father and my mother forsake me, the Lord will sustain me. Show me your ways, O Lord. Lead me in the level paths. Because of my enemies, deliver me not into the land of my hand of my adversaries. For false witnesses have risen up against me, and also those who speak malice. What if I had not believed that I should see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living? O tarry and await the Lord's pleasure. Be strong, and he shall comfort your heart. Wait patiently for the Lord. Let us pray. Gracious Father, protector of those whose hope in you. Your, uh, you heard the cry of your son and kept him safe in your shelter in the day of evil. Grant that your servants who seek your face in times of trouble may see your goodness in the land of the living. Through your son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We continue in our reading in Jeremiah, uh, beginning uh, in the 17th chapter, beginning with verse 5. Thus says the Lord, Cursed is the man who trusts in man and makes flesh his arm. Whose heart, whose heart turns away from the Lord. He is like a, shar, a shrub in the desert and shall not see any good come. He shall dwell in the parched places of the wilderness in an uninhabited salt land. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, who trusts in the Lord, uh, whose trust is in the Lord, is the Lord. He, who, he is like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when heat comes for its leaves remain green and is not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. The heart is deceitful above all things, and desperately corrupt. Who can understand it? I, the Lord, search the mind and try the heart, to give to every man according to his ways, according to the fruit of his doing. Heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved, for thou art my, my, pra my praise. Behold, they say to me, where is the word of the Lord? Let it come. I have not pressed thee to send evil, nor have I desired the day of disaster. Thou knowest that which came out of my lips was before thy face. Be not a terror to me. Thou art my refuge in the day of evil. Let those be put to shame who persecute me, but let, the, let me not be put to shame. Let them be dismayed, but let them not be, dis, uh, be dismayed. Bring upon them the day of evil. Destroy them with double destruction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be Amen. to God. Our second reading comes from Philippians, the fourth chapter, beginning with verse 1. Therefore, my brother, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, stand firm thus in the Lord, my beloved. I entreat Erodia, and I entreat Synthchi to agree to the Lord, and I ask you also, True yoke fellow, uh, help these women, for they are have labored side by side with me in the gospel together with Clement and the rest of my fellow workers, whose names are in the book of life. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I will say, rejoice. Let all men know your forbearance. The Lord is at hand. Have no anxiety about anything, but in everything by prayer and supplication. With thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, will keep your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious, if there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, think about these things. What you have learned and received and heard and seen in me, do, and the God of peace will be with you. I rejoice in the Lord greatly that now at length you have revived uh, you ha you have revived your concern for me you have indeed concerned for me but you have no opportunity no, uh, not that I complained of want for I have learned in whatever state I am to be content I know how to be abased and I know how to be abound in any, uh, any and all circumstances I have learned the secret of facing plenty and hunger abundance and want 
I can do all things in him who strengthens me. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But But now now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Let justice... Oh, oh, no, wrong one, isn't it? Yes. Um, uh, To to the the cross of of our Lord Lord Jesus Christ, Christ, our our salvation, salvation, life, and resurrection. resurrection. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to the people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. And the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high, shall break, shall break upon us. And, <clears throat> I'm sorry, shall break, up, uh, shall break upon, upon us. Uh, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, our salvation, life, and resurrection. Let us pray. Father, in your plan of salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, accepted the cross and freed us from the power of the enemy. May we come to share the glory of his resurrection. For he lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord Almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining Tom and I with Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry on this Wednesday morning. And I hope you have a safe and blessed day today. And I hope to see you tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.